and you could stay with your little friends right over here. Oh, hey everyone, I didn't know you were watching already. I'm hanging out here with my little friends, my little buddies in their little house. And uh, I actually wanna play a little guessing game with you. I'm gonna give you some uh, clues and I wanna see if you could figure out what these things are. So once you think you know what it is, you can hit the pause button and you can guess down below in the comments. So these things are really easy to source. You could buy them in bulk and pay less than 10 cents a piece for them. They're not hard to find either. Uh, these things are really easy to learn. You don't need any specialized knowledge uh, whatsoever. Uh, they're really easy to store because they are so small. They are really easy to list. They generally don't require a lot of photographs uh, or a really big detailed description. They're really easy to ship because of how small they are and don't cost a lot to ship either. They will almost all go first class and towards the uh, lower end, so it's not going to cost a lot. Uh, in addition to that, and really importantly, they are really easy to sell and you can make lots of money on them. I'm going to show you examples of many of these types of items that we have sold ourselves in just a few moments. Now, if you think you know what the item is, what type of item it is, this is where you wanna hit that pause button. If you haven't done so already and make your guess, what am I talking about? I'm talking about animal jewelry, animal jewelry. Now, if you're a guy, don't turn off the channel yet. This is exactly why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video for people, guys and gals who don't feel like you know a lot about jewelry and you're nervous about getting into it. Here's the thing. You all know how to identify fish. You all know how to identify other types of animals like zebras and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, you can do that. And once you do that, that's going to be your bridge to bring you into the general jewelry area because you're gonna learn about other jewelry terms along the way. And once you do that, that's gonna help build up some confidence within you so that you could then branch out into non-animal jewelry pieces. So it, it really does help build that up for you. I could tell you this uh, from uh, experience. So. I'll show you more a little bit later about where we source this. If you haven't seen my uh, previous video on the animal jewelry unboxing, uh, I will put a link to it right up there and uh, you'll, you'll be able to click on that if you want to. So the other thing I wanna tell you before I show you some of these sold, which makes this a great type of item is they're what I call double dippers. So there are two types of things people like in one. Number one would be jewelry. Of course, people love jewelry. You know, they like to be able to express themselves and, you know, feel like they're doing something that, you know, just express themselves in a unique way. And animal jewelry really helps them do that. And in addition to that, there are people who just love certain types of animals. Like me, I love alligators and crocodiles and sharks. Uh, there's people out there who love cats, obviously, and dogs, but even other types of animals, pigs and elephants and aardvarks and duckbill platypuses, no matter what you wanna name, there's someone out there that loves it. Hippos, rhinoceroses, and there's animal jewelry made for all sorts of these things. If you're into like horror stuff and gothic type of stuff, you might really like things related to spiders, tarantulas, and snakes. Those types of things are all made into jewelry. So let me show you some examples. These are all things that once we added up all the animal jewelry uh, that we got, these things wound up costing us easily less than 10 cents a piece. And you'll see what they sold for. Now, these are things that don't normally uh, show up in my top 10 what's sold video because they're not normally things that are going to go for $75, $100, $200. Although once in a while, you will get lucky and you, you might find a piece like that in there. Uh, but this is a great example of something. As soon as I saw it, I said, I know this is going to sell. This is just an amazing piece. Uh, this is this really nice um, alligator statement necklace right here. And by statement necklace, and this is what I mean where you start getting into learning some of the terms, 
it's a bigger type of piece that's designed to make a statement when you wear it. I mean, that's not like super tiny. It's not huge, but you know, it's bigger than like a real tiny piece of jewelry. And it really does help make a, a statement. And uh, I'll give you some other angles here. Now, this one actually was bought by uh, Jesse Shops. You can see the, the hollowness right here on the bottom. And, you know, I've talked about her a lot before. Um, but, you know, for those of you who are thinking, well, you know, you only sold it because you sold it to someone who watched the channel. No, this is something you could look up comps and all sorts of things like that. These things sell easily. And many of the other items I'm going to show you here sold to people who are not viewers of the channel. Here's another uh, angle right here. These are really quick, easy pictures that you could take. And um, these will sell easily, really fast, $24 approximately on this. Uh, there are some things we that I'm showing here that we may have taken the best offer on. I didn't go through every one, but if so, it only would have been like a couple of dollars uh, difference. And you can see here, we like to put a little a measurement in usually just to give people a sense on um, how big the uh, item is. So just so they get some scale there. So that one there, $23.99, so $24. Now here, I was talking about snakes earlier. This is a great uh, snake item. I don't remember if Katie Reed's got this one, but um, we we did sell a snake bracelet uh, or type bracelet to her. We've sold several snake bracelets to viewers and non-viewers. This one is really cool because it has, it kind of twists around a bit, as you can see here and it has these imitation diamonds. Now that's certain you something that you wanna make sure you clarify that they're not real diamonds. You could call them simulated diamonds. Some people call cubic zirconia. Some people call them rhinestones. There's different types of terms and you'll learn that along the way, but this is what I mean about that kind of way in which animal jewelry is a segue into other types of jewelry. Uh, what you'll also notice here is that um, this bracelet is hinged. So if you look over here, there you could see the hinge that opens this up that allows you to wear it. But that's great because then when you go out and you see another piece of jewelry, another type of bracelet like this, and it's um, you know, and it's not an animal one, but it looks cool, looks interesting, and you see that it's hinged, well, great. Now you already know some terminology that you could put into your listing. So just get all sorts of different angles. Sometimes we use black backgrounds. Sometimes we use white backgrounds. It just depends on the items. We find some of the gold pieces look really nice on a black background. So it's a really cool piece right there. It gets some close-ups and stuff like that. Um, now the next one for all of you cat lovers, um, these are brooches. And these are neat pieces. As you can see here, black and gold. They're... Um, now, they're ones that go together as a pair. When you look at the back, here you will see the pin that signifies to you that this is a, uh, a brooch. Now, that term could sometimes get confused. There are some people who call it brooch, but generally it's called a brooch, even though it looks like brooch. But you could see here, these sold for $25. And a lot of these pieces sell for right around that amount. So just imagine getting you know, 15 pounds of these types of pieces and they're generally small and you're getting them for less than 10 cents and you're selling the vast majority of them for $25 or more. Some will sell for less than that, but a lot of them will sell in this price range as you'll see. Here's another one. Now these are different types of uh, brooches. These are porcelain ones and they're also signed on the back. And that's one of the things that you want to look for. Look on the back of the jewelry pieces. So as you can see over here, we have a name here. Now I'm going to uh, give you a better view of it with it oriented properly to the letters. There you can see right there, it's telling you um, what this actually stands for, which is Johnson England. Some of it is covered up by the uh, pin. But uh, there you could see, and here's another side of it right there. This one says Western Germany. So what you could do is you could take ones that maybe they didn't naturally go together, but you could start pairing them up in small little lots like this, and there you could wind up getting your $25. So if you tried to sell, let's say, this one by itself, you wouldn't get 25 bucks necessarily, or this one by itself, you wouldn't, but paired them together. Now you've got a $25 sale. So, you know, big deal. So it cost you 20 cents to make $25. Take that any day of the week. Here's another one right here. This is really cool. This is another uh, brooch pin, but 
It's different from the others in that it has three different animals in one. Well, they're the same type of animal. They're, they're owls, but they're three separate owls uh, sitting on this branch here. And on the back, you could see there's this one pin that cuts right across the top there. And that's what we'll uh, pin it on. So always look for that pin. Make sure the pin isn't broke. Make sure that it connects. If you see anything like this with uh, multicolored uh, rhinestones on them, people will love that. It's a nice added touch. People love colors. They love rainbows. You know, anything like that, that's um, going to be something that adds to the to the the, uh, the quality of the item and it's going to make it desirable. Owls are very, very, po uh, very, very popular. They are uh, really venerated for their wisdom, for their big eyes, you know, for um, you know, being on guard and, you know, looking at you know, what's around and, you know, people just love them. They just love owls. So anytime I see owl stuff, I always look into it. Really neat piece right there, sold for $25. You'll also see that we use the term silver toned. It's not real silver, but you could say it's silver toned or if something is um, gold toned, you could say that too. That, that doesn't mean it's real gold. You're saying it's toned. So kind of like saying it's colored, but um it's not the actual metal. So that's something to clarify. Now, uh, sometimes you'll have something that's not a pin. It's not a bracelet. It's more of a trinket, like a little, little, little container almost. And that's what this is here, but it's a jewelry piece. And there's a little turtle. Turtles are very popular. People love sea turtles. You know, think of how popular, for example, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are. Uh, they love them. So you open up the shell right here and here you go. You could store some pills in there. Or you could store whatever little tiny thing that you would like right inside that. Looks really cool. Open up like that. Nice piece. There you can see the bottom there too. Sometimes I'll have a little wear on it, but that really is not anything we've found that affects the sale. These little uh, fake diamonds on top, again, the most common term for those usually are rhinestones. So that's the term we generally use. And uh, as you can see here, another $25 sale. If you could tell what type of closure it is, that's something we like to specify. You know, is it a magnetic closure? Is it hinged? Whatever. Um, you know, try to mention that. Um, you know, if you can. Next one here, we found a lot of success with this type of item. Um, not necessarily that it's silver tone, but that it has many different animals combined together onto one item. We typically find these on bracelets, sometimes on necklaces as well. Um, if it has any kind of Noah's Ark theme, that's something you could also uh, mention uh, as well. So it could add a third layer sometimes of religious significance to it. So anytime you see anything like that, uh, look into picking it up. If you see it as part of a big lot, that should draw you to it. This is more of a bulky type of piece, more of a heavier type of piece. Um, we refer to this one as a statement a bracelet as opposed to the statement necklace because this is really going to make a statement given how much stuff is on there. In addition to this, it also stretches out. So that's another term you would want to use. If you have a stretchy bracelet, make sure that you mention that. This again is something we put in here to give you a sense of scale. So that's important as well. Uh, next one here, this was one of my favorites. You know how much I love cheetah print stuff. And uh, as soon as I saw this, I just knew this was going to be a quick seller. Anything cheetah, leopard related, uh, they are fast sellers. I mean, people just love that design. Uh, it has kind of a, an Egyptian feel to it sometimes. Uh, Jersey girls who are watching uh, definitely love these types of items. So shout out to the Jersey girls. Uh, this one's really cool. Again, you've got another hinge on the bottom as well. So you can see we called it hinged. And also it does have a gold tone to it in some aspects. Another thing is that when you have two animals that are coming together face to face like this, you can refer to them as kissing. And so that adds another quality to it, which is that there's a bit of a romance to it. You could also use the term double. Notice here how we are maximizing our keywords. We are not just calling this a Jaguar bangle bracelet. By the way, the term bangle is something that is going to be used to refer to a circular bracelet that usually slides on or maybe it has a hinge or something, you know, and it just stays on by being, uh, you know, closed like that. So bangle bracelets, uh, that's another term you want to look out for. But again, everyone watching this is going to be able to identify, oh, yeah, that's a panther or cheetah and put those terms in there. Try not to leave 
uh, blank spaces. If you could avoid it, if you could fit another term in there, get it in there because people are searching. This is another one. Now, this is more of a plasticky type of item, plastic, mother of pearl. This is something that when I saw it, I said to Mrs. Primetime, this reminds me of the Lion King. And I felt that somebody watching uh, this or looking at this would, would think of that and would want to buy it as a result of that. And I'm pretty sure that the person who bought this uh, did mention that. And uh, that's, I, in fact, I am sure that's, that's the reason that the person got this because it reminded that person of the Lion King. So cool piece right there. Again, just showing you, you know, Lion is the king of the jungle. People who love that, sometimes the love of that is associated with a movie uh, or it could be something in their personal life. This one sold for, uh, this one did sell for that price, I remember, for $30. If you know the name of who made the piece, put it in there. So you could see this one says Lee Sands. You know, get that in there if you could find that information out. Put any uh, pictures you can that document the closure uh, and just make sure you're showing that because people like that. Measurements we like to put in as well. But again, does not require a ton of pictures. Here we've got five photos. That's it. Uh, this one here just, just goes to show you again how you can make some lots together. So if you found a bunch of different animals uh, that were similar in size, similar in type, you could put them together in a little customized lot. So that's what we did here. Four elephant uh, brooch pins, silver and gold tone, sometimes separate silver tone, sometimes separate gold tone, sometimes a combined silver and gold tone. So it really made it appealing. You have these two elephants interacting. Here you've got the baby elephant interacting with the mom elephant. You know, people love that type of stuff. Anything that shows a parental relationship, a mother-son, a mother-daughter, um, a couple relationship, people like that because sometimes, and you can see that up here as well. So we really have three of them that are showing that kind of relationship. People like it for that. Um, sometimes people like certain animals because they believe it brings good luck, good fortune. Um, so if you know, if you, you know, gather any kind of information like that in terms of learning what some animals are associated with in certain colors and cultures, put that information into your listing. It can help you sell it. Uh, and this is the last one that I want to show you because as soon as I saw this one in the lot that we got, I told Mrs. Prime that this has to be the first item that you put up for sure. And uh, I love this. Look at those Look at those green emerald eyes in there. I mean, really makes such a cool statement. I mean, it's got the, the the shiny rhinestones in there. It's got the silverish color. It's got the gold color. It's got the black spots in there. I, it's such an amazing piece. It just stood out so much. Even the back looks cool. I mean, look at that. You know, sometimes the backs look kind of like, you know, like they're not that appealing. But the back on this one is awesome as well. Nice big pin cutting right across. $35 for that one. Uh, just an amazing piece that just came in a big giant lot. Um, if you want to see an example, again, this is the video that I linked above earlier. Uh, you could see here that this is um, one really popular way that you could get these types of uh, big lots is you would buy them through a place like Shop Goodwill. Now, you have to be careful with anything else. You want to make sure you're not overpaying, but you could buy these in pounds, in many pounds. This is a 14 pound a uh, box of animal jewelry. So I showed you the whole unboxing. And as you can see over here, I'll just move it forwards a little bit. Look how much stuff came in that one box right there. I mean, that is a lot of stuff. So we really did well on that and um, uh, did a nice job selling off a lot of those pieces. And we still have some of the stuff listed. This is prime time. My wife listed all this stuff. She sorted all of it. She is 100% responsible for everything that you see in my store. In fact, right up in this upper right corner, you could see there's the lion piece. So for those of you who watch this video, and some of the um, uh, elephant ones are down below. So a bunch of things that were in there are things that actually um, sold and, and are actually in this video. But we have bought other animal jewelry lots, and we have not um, shown all of those uh, in terms of unboxing videos on here. So I just wanted to make sure... Uh, you got a sense to see that. You could pick up some of these pieces. Also, by the way, at estate sales, sometimes you'll see them at garage sales once in a while at flea markets. But to get them in big, giant bulk lots, you really got to go to some place that's liquidating them, like a shop Goodwill, like a high bid site, some type of online auction site. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I want to thank, by the way, uh, this uh, lady right here, uh, Crystal 
flowers from Carolina Finds Treasures. This is her eBay store. You can see here she has some jewelry in her store as well. I'm not sure if she has any animal jewelry, but uh, she does have a lot of postcards for sale. Uh, she is a member of this channel, and I do like to try to highlight uh, members' uh, stores. If I can get it on a video like this and link it in somehow, I try to do that. But for all members, I will put a link uh, in the comment section and in the description section for you on one of the videos. So if you're a member and I haven't linked to your store yet, uh, and many people have told me it's helped bring in some sales for them, send me an email, at primetime treasure, no S at the end, at gmail.com. And uh, I will uh, I will get you in there. And I also want to thank uh, Crystal, by the way, for sending me uh, her own postcard that's going to go up on the wall of fame uh, back there. So uh, it's going to go right up there. I'm going to get it up there so you'll see it in uh, future videos. So this one says, don't buy many cards to mail, but got some at a bargain sale. And as you're keen for bargains too, I'm sending this one to you. So thank you very much, Crystal. I love it. I can't wait to put it up. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure you comment down below. If you can do both of those things, that really helps the video out, gives it an extra special push, an extra double dipper. And uh, I will uh, see you all back in the next video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.